a space-time vortex around Earth, presented by Science at NASA. Would you believe Earth sits in the middle of a space-time vortex? Einstein predicted this almost a hundred years ago, and it turns out to be true. On May 4, 2011, researchers announced that NASA's Gravity Probe B spacecraft has detected the vortex, and its shape precisely matches the predictions of Einstein's theory of gravity. The space-time around Earth appears to be distorted, just as general relativity predicts, says Stanford University physicist Francis Everett, principal investigator of the Gravity Probe B mission. Time and space, according to Einstein's theories of relativity, are woven together, forming a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. The mass of Earth dimples this fabric, much like a person sitting in the middle of a trampoline. If Earth were stationary, that would be the end of the story. But our planet spins, and the spin should pull the dimple around in a four-dimensional swirl. This is what Gravity Probe B went into space in 2004 to check. The idea behind the experiment is simple. Imagine trying to spin a toy top on the dimpled surface of that trampoline. It's going to wobble, right? Something similar happens when you try to spin a gyroscope in curved space-time. Its spin axis will drift, or precess. Gravity Probe B carried some super-spherical gyros into Earth's orbit to see what they would do. In practice, this simple idea is extremely difficult. According to calculations, the twisted space-time around Earth should cause the axis of the gyros to drift by a tiny amount. Really tiny. It's like measuring the thickness of a sheet of paper held edge on 100 miles away. Even the slightest disturbance could ruin the experiment. We had to invent whole new technologies to make this possible, says Everett. The Gravity Probe B team developed a drag-free satellite that could brush against Earth's atmosphere without disturbing the gyros. They figured out how to keep Earth's magnetic field from penetrating the spacecraft. And they created a device to measure the spin of a gyro without touching the gyro. Pulling off the experiment was a big challenge, but after a year of data taking and nearly five years of analysis, the Gravity Probe B scientists appear to have done it. The gyros processed, the vortex is real, and we are in it. Einstein was right again. 